No tricks, just treats. Hey aficionados, Sean here, and today we got another beer from Magnified. This is another one in their series of sours, their pastry proof series of sours, which is a little bit more desserty version of their trade proof series of sours. This one is their Halloween pastry proof. This one is a fruited goza brewed with tangerine, prickly pear, peach gummy rings, and watermelon gummies. It is 4.5% ABV. Sounds like a really fun one. So let's dig in. Wow, so the aroma on this one, it smells like watermelon candy for days. Peach rings. It smells honestly like that, um, like that strawberry watermelon, is it like a Tropicana or Brisk, whatever it is. Definitely um, candy vibes though. Watermelon for days. A little bit maybe of like that prickly pear kind of thing coming through. A little bit of the citrusy, tangerine, juicy kind of thing. It smells pretty sweet, honestly. Like it, it really just kind of smells like candy or like fruit juice. Again, the like strawberry, melon, Tropicana. Uh, yeah, it smells really interesting. Cheers. Oh my God. Wow. So that's really good, really fun. I think that one descriptor is like on point. Like it really just tastes like that strawberry, melon, Tropicana, brisk, whatever that whatever company puts it out. I think maybe they both put out a version. Watermelon gummies for days, like sour watermelon gummies, just a little bit sour and tart. It's not super sour and tart, but it's got a really strong sweetness too. Like it has that candy sweetness vibe to it. Like a bright candy sweetness with a little bit of sour and a little bit of tart to pull back on that sweetness to make it not too sweet, too cloying. You're getting that peach candy, peach ring vibe. Almost like a nerd rope I'm getting from this one. Mm. More of that strawberry melon Tropicana. A little bit of the, the prickly pear, some of the tangerine juiciness, especially towards the, the back end. Watermelon candy for days though. Wow. It's got a nice uh, light carbonation that helps to make it, you know, drink a little bit lighter, a little bit more drinkable. These pastry proof beers and these trade proof beers can be pretty heavy in terms of like body and mouthfeel. And this one, it's definitely got some like chew, some, some body to it, but it feels a little bit more lighter, a little bit more carbonated. Um, and again, because of the, the sweetness and that like light candy tartness that it has makes it really drinkable. It makes it feel a little bit lighter, even though it does have a little bit of like a medium, medium plus even body to it. That's really good. I, I could literally just keep sitting here and just keep drinking this. Like it, it's so drinkable, so easy to drink. It finishes up obviously with more of that candy flavor, more of that like sour tart watermelon candy more of the, the the strawberry melon fruit juice a little bit of the the tangerine juiciness the peach rings it, it it's like candy in a glass uh, nerd rope nerds crazy stuff all right so my final thoughts on halloween pastry proof this one's gonna get an a plus for me maybe even a plus plus if i could i mean it's just really fun really memorable stuff like this stands out from a lot of other beers that I've been trying. It, it, it's so crazy. Like it's just literally just like Halloween candy in a glass. Like it's really fitting for a Halloween version of Pastry Proof. Really palatable, uh, really easy to drink. It goes down really easy. Again, like this is gonna be like a perfect introductory kind of sour for people who are trying to get into sours because it's not gonna like be too off-putting with those sour notes. If you like sour candies, you are going to love this beer. It might be my favorite sour from Magnified to this point. And that says a lot because I really like their sours, especially their, their trade proof variants. Really enjoy this one. Might even see it crop up again on the end of the year list. Have any of you tried Halloween pastry proof? What do you think of it? And what are some of your favorite Halloween or candy themed beers? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, drink responsibly and passionately. Thanks for watching.